perfect video we're gonna do today. Snowstorm! Where's the magic gone? Where did it run to? Never thought it'd leave, but I'm left with an emptiness. Won't you tell me where the magic's gone? A little bit of an issue with one of the snow tracks breaking and the steering with the tires in the front. Not a good idea. I'm prepared though. <coughs> Oi, oi, oi. What do you think? Yeah, I think it will function very good. <laughs> Anton? I think also it will function very good. Let's put it to the test. Back when I was young, it was all around. Everywhere I looked, it was there. Now I blankly stand And I wonder Where the magic's gone <laughs> I mean, look at this And then Now I can say that it was perfect <laughs> Actually far from it it actually did a pretty good job of moving the snow, nothing else. Okay, today is Q&A day and uh, as usual, if you want to ask me a question or two, maybe, then uh, Instagram is usually the place where I post these Q&As. But I also have Twitter, so if you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, head over there. When did you first pick up a camera and what was it? It was the Canon, oh, I can't remember the name, but it was a really cheap as Canon that my sister got for her birthday. I think it was like 16 years ago or something like that. And I tried that out and it wasn't really until I borrowed a camera from a friend that I got interested in it. And that was a Nikon D300. How many Nerf guns do you have now? Asking for a friend. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Have you tried a Nerf again? Never. <gasps> Can I try? Yeah. Okay. And then? Aim, set, fire. <gasps> no! Come in. <laughs> oh! Yo! Which of your Nerf guns is your favorite? <laughs> Oof! <laughs> this is my favorite Nerf gun. Oh. It is powerful, accurate, and fun. <laughs> have you ever been to Africa? I have not. I would love to go. Best variable ND filter on a budget. I'm gonna recommend the JJC. I love them. Do you collaborate with a little Spanish channel? Uh, as of right now? No. Is it possible to shoot in a flat profile without ND filter? 
Yes. Who would you say was or is your biggest inspiration, either when you started your channel or now? I'm gonna have to go with Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon. I've said this before, but they really ignited the spark in me to create videos, and I think that that is awesome. What is your favorite movie? Oh, come on. Before time began. Have you ever met a neighbor when throwing your trash bag? <laughs> is there any neighbor watching your vlogs? Yes, that has happened a few times. Usually they just stand there like question marks. And I actually have my next door neighbor. They are watching some of my videos on my main channel. Can you tell us about ND filters? You are the perfect guy to learn from. Yes, they work basically like sunglasses for your camera. Are you sponsored by Nanlite? I am an ambassador for Nanlite. Can I be in your vlog? Yes. Is it too difficult to monetize YouTube if you are not a US-based channel? I'm gonna say no, because I personally had two channels monetized and I am from Sweden, so no. What age did you start shaving your head? I think I was around 20 years old. Dream vacation destination. I would love to go to Bora Bora or go back to the Maldives because snorkeling with the manta rays was just such an incredible experience. What platform and or category is the vlog music from? I love it. All my music that I have in my videos is from artlist.io. I'm gonna drop a link down below if you wanna sign up. Watching your videos makes me happy. This makes me happy. Thank you. Are you in a Christmas mood and can you do a video about it? I am getting into it. I'm not there yet, but soon. When are you visiting South Africa and would you like to visit South Africa? As of right now, with Omicron and all that, probably not in the near future. What is your favorite functional part of your studio? I'm just finishing my own. I'm probably gonna go with the tripod that I have overhead because this makes things so much easier. Do you watch football? No. How do you get over the feeling that someone's watching you when you're filming yourself? Honestly, I don't think you ever do, but you get used to it. Does your recent surgery affect your bench press? Mm, you gotta say no. What is your favorite drone? By far the Mavic 3 Cine. A7 IV versus A7C as an intro to Sony full frame. You're gonna get way more out of the a7 IV than the a7c. How do you overcome fear of vlogging in public and setting up shots in front of strangers? This is probably something that I'm gonna do a dedicated video about because I get this question a whole lot. Don't care what other people think, just be proud of yourself that you are doing something that they don't dare to do. And if they look at you in a weird way, then you know that you're doing something right because you're gonna achieve success where they aren't. How important do you think fitness is for photographers? Super important. Fitness overall is important for every single one of us. How do you come up with content if you're having a creative blog? I think the best way is just to have fun with what you do. How much did it cost to build your studio? This studio space didn't cost me this much because I built everything on my own. But if we're gonna do a rough calculation, I think all the building materials, walls, insulation, and all that landed around $4,000. And then the new studio space, including everything inside, cost me around $10,000. So a total of $14,000 to build this entire space the interior design is something completely different and that has cost me a lot of money but we're gonna dive into that in another video what would it take for you to consider Nikon Z9 honestly I will probably never switch from Sony because I just enjoy the way the Sony cameras work and I know them inside out did you like the fx6 I thought it was good not something groundbreaking and I think the Rony 40 is better camera. Is your YouTube channel the only income that you have? And if YouTube banned completely, what would you do? I'm gonna flip this over to you. What would you do if the company that you're hired off right now would go bankrupt? Do you still use your a7 III? No, I haven't used the a7 III in, I think, around a year. Do you choose the music first and then edit the video or vice versa? I always shoot the video first and then add the music on there, but I always try to find a good song so that I can create some sort of story in my head with that song to the footage that I've already shot. What is the best investment that you've done so far? I'm gonna say this studio because this studio has generated so much more income than I thought it would be to begin with. Aren't you going to continue your vlog channel? If not, I'll be sad. I am going to continue it, but I'm probably not gonna make daily vlogs. Don't you miss your bodybuilding days? Honestly, no. Are you dropping any filmmaking courses? Maybe in the future, I am dropping a YouTube course where I'm going to share all my knowledge 
with you. So if you want to check that out, there's a pre-order link down in the description. What is the most fun to you? Recording the video or editing the video? By far editing the video. We need more epic B-roll. We miss those days. I do not miss those days. I got bored of them and there might be some in the future, but I need a big break from the B-roll sequences. What is your advice for someone that wants to do daily vlogs like you do? Honestly, if you just have fun with it and document rather than try to tell a story that isn't there, then you're gonna have more success than you probably think.